Hey, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got whiskey. Oh, like Don't whiskey. we like whiskey? We do like whiskey. And we're going back to Santa Fe? Santa Fe. We're going back to the high desert? We're, we're, we're loading up the wagons, heading mm. west. Can I be a high plains drifter? I don't know. It's not the same thing. Can you get on a horse? Would the horse appreciate you being on it? No. No. Maybe, no. maybe we need wagons at this yes, point. Yes, we do. With a number of horses. Yes, we do. Large horses. Yep. So we uh, we were able to participate in a, uh, a little... Well, we were invited to. We were invited to participate. We were able to participate in a drinking of one of these. We mm -hmm. tasted this fine single malt. Um, and now we're going to try their uh, apple brandy cask. Mm. So and Cole Keegan, and Colin Keegan, is the brains behind the Santa Fe You spirits. said it's, he's an Englishman in the in, high desert. In the high desert. He, he's embraced his adopted home, and he makes whiskey with uh, mesquite instead of peat. Okay, and it's American barley? It's, I believe everything's American. And okay. he's rolling this out. Uh, he makes a vodka, he makes a gin, he makes an apple brandy, and this is their whiskey in an apple brandy cast. Is it finished or fin is it, I is believe, it I believe it's finished. So where does it start, like American oak? or? So I, I think it's going to be, they take select barrels of this and then transfers it into the others. Ah. Awesome. Uh, uh, Pop, pop, fist, Pop fist. goes the weasel, because the weasel goes pop. Yeah. Oh, gypsy Rose. I'm the glug glug tease. Well, that's nice. That's a nice glug glug. So for this expression of the Kalkigan single malt whiskey, Santa Fe Spirits takes Kalkigan from select aged barrels and transfers it to the freshly emptied apple brandy barrels, where it continues to age for a minimum of one year. Hmm. This mellows and sweetens the Kalkigan, resulting in a whiskey. Whiskey Advocate describes, I'm not going to say how they describe it, but they awarded it 89 points. Really? Hmm. Santa Fe Spirits bottles all of its Kalkigan apple brandy cask finished from single barrels, so each batch will have its own unique flavor. Hmm. With the apple brandy cask finished, they like to maintain the differences. 46%, it's in 750s, and it's a seasonal release. Hmm. Okay. So I guess after they harvest... The apples, they make the apple brandy, that takes yeah. a certain amount of time, and then they take the barrels out. Hmm. I'd be curious to try the Nothing apple to brandy, frankly. Cheers. Cheers. You know what would be nice with the apple brandy? Uh, uh, what's that one? A Jack Rose. A Jack Rose? Yeah, and yeah. instead of using that, you know, that pig swill they make up at Laird's, no, it's actually pretty good, too. Oh. <laughs> no, it's good. The apple jack. Good I've stuff. been told that saying things taste like pig swill. It's not. <laughs> not nice. Not nice. No, it's actually And really that good. could be more than a microaggression. Uh, <laughs> it's just aggression. It might just be uh, an aggression. It's, you know what it is? Assault. Wow, mm. this is very different. That's nice. It's it's a little and lighter. You still get that mesquite. Yeah. They still do the mesquite, right? They still it's, do the, it's the same exact whiskey. But they fish just it rolled out brandy. now on apple brandy. So it rounds it, it melts it. Yeah, it it. right. That's, that's what I was going to say. Kind of, This adds like an extra layer of sweetness to yeah. it. As if we already didn't have enough sweetness from the mesquite. Now we've got an extra layer of like apple so like almost like a like a baked apple pie. Yeah, so this is like you made a pie next to the the, the, uh, the barbecue. A smoked apple yeah. pie. So after the big rack of ribs, mm. we're going to go and some brisket, maybe a chicken. Who would like pie? Me, sir. Do you have any of that stuff? Me? No. Then stop talking. I'm taunting you. This is your murder table. This is where you say, how do you like it? This is your murder table. How's it feel? How's it feel? I got some buffalo chicken in the fridge and I got some <laughs> cornbread over there. You want some of that? No. I'm going in. Hmm. That's very nice. I, again, I like the mouthfeel on these. It's not super oily, but it does have a little bit of like structure to it. You know? And I gotta say, it seems... Just about as hot as the other one. Mm. That uh, while it may have mellowed a little of the mesquite flavor, it certainly didn't diminish the forty-six percent. That's nice. That is good. That's really nice. It, it, it's not overly sweet. No, the apple I think just kind of takes the edge off on the smoke. Not that I didn't enjoy the smoke. I like the other one. It just one makes it is. different. Right. It just makes it different. It gives it just. I don't, I'm not going to say it tastes like apples. <laughs> no, no. But there is no. a little bit, like maybe like a light cinnamon sugar. Yeah. You know, just a very lightness to it on, it, on the it, back end. If, if you aren't someone who is embracing the smoke, this bottle certainly takes it down a notch. It's yeah. still very, very good. Mm -hmm. I see, you know, Whiskey Abbott gave it an 89. I can certainly see why I would you agree. give it. I, can't I can certainly that. see why you give it an 89. No, that's good. Um, I, th I think this was an 89. That's an 89. Yeah. Both, both very good. They're delicious. Again, uh, you know, I, I'm not expecting a lot. 
because these are kind of upstarts compared to you know mm -hmm. Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> And, I, I don't think it's upside. I think they're and startups. They're, and they're and they're again. I <laughs> that may have been a microaggression on my part. Shame on me. <laughs> they're relatively new. Fool me once to the whiskey game. Um, they uh, they certainly are making the most of what they know how to do. Mm -hmm. It's it's really good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Well done. It's very good. Yeah, I would I would go. You know, high eighties. Yeah, eighty eight, eighty nine. Well yeah, it's eighty eight. You know, you know yeah. it's good. It's it's again a little more mellow than the other one. Just a touch more mellow. Yeah, I, I think I like this a little better because the flavor was a little bigger. Right. But this is certainly very good. Yeah, it's you just know, a different good. alternative. It's it's just a notch below to me. You know what? I think they're both. I think they're cocktailable. Also, yeah. I think they make an interesting cocktail. At forty six percent, you're probably you know, like, like, like a like a lightly smoked old yeah. fashioned. Sure, maybe. Sure, you know. Sure. So, sir, cheers to you. Well, well, that was that just was, sad. That was lame. That was lame. <laughs> That's there better. Just don't break the glass. Cheers to you. Cheers to. Colin Keegan and his Santa Fe Spirits. And of course, thank you to Big Thirst Marketing for Send it along. keeping us in the loop and yep. sending us along. Cheers. Delicious. Cheers.